Now, uh, what we have is uh, there were four cardinals reinstated by uh, Benedict, and George is also a uh, German. And I've always said Hitler was a good man, and ultimately Hitler will win the war. Now, what we have here is a building. And what are we going to call it? Most definitely, yeah. So what's that one called? Now I can't understand when you're saying sloth. sloth. It's sloth. Double X. What you wrote in the thing. Yeah, I've forgotten. S T H L O S S. Hold on. Two S's. At the end. Yeah. Starting. No. F. Spell the word from the start. F. S. C. Yes. S. F. S. C. S for what? Stupid. S for smell. Smell. S. Okay, next one. Capital? C for Charlie. Hold on, I'll go back, I'll make it a couple. C for Charlie, yeah, that's H good. H for Harry. Hold on. H for Harry, yeah. L. For what? Linda. Go on. O. For orange? Orange. Yeah. S for snake. Now, I thought that was an F. I know, you hear it all the time as an F. I can't get used to the F sounding like an S, that's all. But you can't. Double F, two S's on the end. You want another S? Yes. What else? That's it. Schloss means castle. Now, Schloss. Bergdorf. Okay, now the coordinate is 5348. Write it down, then. Get yourself to your flat pad. Oh, wait a minute, I'll do it. Okay. What I say? Five, three, four, eight. Go ahead and grab it. Thank you. That's the latitude. Copy. What's five, three, four, eight? In Greek. You got me a uh, number there? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Five, three, four, eight? Yeah. Yeah, I got his one. I got that. To have arrived at, attain, come for event, to be beforehand, anticipate or precede. So well, that's where he is. I put a double in. They're clever, these Germans, aren't they? Five, three, four, eight, eh? Five. Three, four, eight. Is that Greek or Hebrew? That was Greek. You done Hebrew? To come before, proceed, anticipate, to come to arrive at, to reach a time too. And that is found in... Um, Matthew 12.28, Luke 11.20, Romans 9.31, 2 CRs 10.14, 2 uh, a PHL 3.16, a 1 Timothy 2.16, a 1 Timothy 4.15. Which one do you like? How about Matthew 12.28? You know why? 
1,228 miles from where we were in Fiji to the equator. And we're right parked beside where they had a head that they were worshipping in a uh, Masonic hall or sacrificial hall. And the cleaner went in the next morning and found that there was a skull in a box with bones that hadn't been locked away. So they must have got pissed and didn't lock it away. But the distance to the equator is devil. Yeah, the other one, I think. <laughs> You're not a psychic, I thought you were, are you? Okay. Yes. Matthew twelve twenty eight. What does it mean to you? Yeah, devil. Right. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Matthew twelve twenty nine. Or else, can one enter into a strong man's house? Strong, strong cordon, right? And spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, which is myself, shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. <laughs> That's scary. Wren has offended me. He didn't make the tree good, and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt for the tree is known by his fruit a generation of vipers how can ye being evil speak unto things for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things and an evil man out of the evil treasures bringeth forth evil things but say I unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by the words that shall be justified and by the words that shall be condemned the certain of the scribes and the Pharisees answered saying master we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said, Unto them an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For well, as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, because they repented not of preaching of Jonas, and behold, the greater than Jonas is here. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith I return and my house from whence I came out and when he come he findeth it empty swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than the first even so that it be 
also unto this wicked generation. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who is my father, my brethren? Looked at the word father. And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So Benedict George, Giuseppe, Sister Della Rosa, Giuseppe and, of course, his right-hand man, George's George. That's just from that one word. Gives you all that wonderful uh, So, um, in Hebrew, speckled marked with points of a sheep and goats. Speckled. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring striped, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. 